next skill we're going to perform is a modified bed bath with a shampoo cap. The supplies that you need for the skill are a waterproof barrier for your work surface, two towels, three washcloths, a shampoo cap, soap, lotion, deodorant, a comb, a clean gown, and a bath blanket. I'm going to wash my hands and apply gloves before beginning the skill. Hello Beth, my name's Mari. I'm going to be your aide today. I'm here to help you with a modified bath. Is that alright? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a bath blanket to provide additional warmth and privacy. I'm going to pull the sheet down so that I don't get it wet while we're giving the bath. And I will fan fold it at the foot of the bed. I'm going to remove Beth's gown and give her a clean gown at the end of the procedure. The dirty gown will go into the laundry hamper. I'm going to place a towel over Beth's chest and remove the pillow from under her head. I'm going to place my other towel underneath Beth's head. I have a basin of water that's 105 degrees. I'm going to take my first washcloth and get it wet in the basin and wring out the excess water. I'll fold the washcloth into quarters and I'm going to remove Beth's glasses so that I can clean her face. I'll use one corner to clean the top of the eye, then I'll switch to the second corner and clean underneath her eye. I'll do the same thing with the third corner and the fourth corner on the other eye. Then I will expose the wash center of the washcloth and I'll wash her face from forehead to cheekbone and across the chin in the number three motion. I'll turn the washcloth to a clean location and repeat on the other side in a three, forehead, cheekbone, and chin. This washcloth will then go into the dirty laundry. I will take my second washcloth and get it wet and use that to clean behind her ears and her neck. I will use one spot on the washcloth and I will start on the far side and I will clean the top of her hair, behind her ear, down across the front of her neck and back. Moving to a clean location, I'll repeat on the other side. Behind the ear, down the front of the neck, and behind the neck. That washcloth will then go in the laundry. I will get my third washcloth and have it ready for moving her to her arm. I'll use the towel to blot her face and neck dry. I will expose one arm and place the towel underneath her arm to protect the bed. I will wet my third washcloth, squeeze out the extra water, and put just two or three drops of soap on the washcloth. I'll work it in and I'm going to start by washing the top of her arm down toward her hand, always working from cleanest to dirtiest. I will wash her hand making sure I get in between each finger and the palm of the hand. Then I will come up and I will wash her armpit. I'll rinse my washcloth, squeeze out the extra water, and go back to rinse her arm, cleaning in the same pattern, upper arm to lower arm, working from cleanest to dirtiest. Making sure I've rinsed each finger individually and the palm and then rinsing the armpit. That towel will go in the wash and I will use the towel on her bed to pat her arm dry. Next I will offer Beth deodorant. Would you like some deodorant? Yes, please. I'll apply deodorant under her arm and then I will use some lotion. I'll put lotion on my hand and warm it up and then I'm going to moisturize Beth's arm. Making sure to wipe lotion in her hand in between each of her fingers and into the palm of her hand. 
I'll remove my towel and place that in the dirty laundry hamper and place Beth's arm back under the blanket to provide warmth while we wash her hair. I'll get this shampoo cap and read the instructions on the back of the package. This cap requires to be warmed in the microwave for no more than 15 seconds. After warming the cap, I'll take the cap and place it on Beth's head and use my fingers to massage the no rinse product into her scalp. It takes approximately two to three minutes to massage the product into her scalp. Then I'll remove the cap and discard it in the trash. I can use the towel to blot out any excess product from her hair. And then I will get a comb and I will comb her hair from root to tip, blotting any excess product into the towel as I comb her hair. Once her hair has been combed, I will lift her head, remove the towel to place it in the laundry, and give the pillow back. Finally, I'm going to put a clean gown. I'll unfold the gown over the bath blanket and assist Beth in getting her arms into the clean gown. I can pull the bath blanket away and return Beth's clean sheet up over her body. The bath blanket will go in the laundry. I will make sure that I put the head of the bed back to 30 degrees if it's been moved. Give her a call light. Side rails up if ordered. Bed in low position. Would you like your glasses back, Beth? Yes, please. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you? I don't think so. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll clean up my supplies, take off my gloves, wash my hands, record and report.